welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and if you've never been here before, hello and welcome. If you're returning, hello and welcome back. So today, I thought we would, yep, we're going to look at a wig. We're going to look at a wig today. That's why I got this wig cap on. Um, I got the Tressa Lore California Beach Waves, and let me see if I can find the card here. California Beach Waves, is that what it's called? Yeah, in the color 1426R10, I believe that says, 1426R10, Tressalore California Beach Waves. Um, so yeah, let's. Well, this isn't really a review, this is just like super unboxing out of the box, see what we think, that kind of thing. Um, they actually sent me a little wig cap in here, which was really nice. Um, I don't think, there ain't too many wigs I get wig caps with, um, so this is what she looks like. Let me put this down here. And, so this is Miss California Beach Waves, and this is the color. It's really, like, almost like a reddish, like, strawberry blonde with some, like, strawberry highlights to it. That's a pretty good representation of the color right there. Um, the cap is a full mono top, so you can part this wherever you want. It's got a lace front, and the ear tabs are velvet lined with metal stays. And then in the back, you have the um, Velcro adjusters, which I love. I love Velcro adjusters over those other, like, bra strap adjusters. I just don't like those bra strap adjusters. So, yeah, this is her color, and I would say it's showing up pretty well. In, in the viewfinder there, like that looks like what the color looks like. It, it really is kind of like a red to me, to me. And then that's the root. The root's not super dark. Again, it's a 10 root. And then that's a pretty good representation of the color there as well. A little darker than I would, a little bit different blonde than I'm used to, for sure. And she's got some bangs going on in her. I will leave the wig specs right here. So I'm not real sure how long this is. I should have, uh, I should have wrote that down. Uh, the other thing about this wig is it is heat friendly. This is a heat safe wig. So that's new for Tressalore, um, I believe. But yeah, um, and she she does have a little bit of a bang going on here in the front, which I'm not much of a bang gal, but we're gonna we're gonna take a little look. She looks really pretty. She's a lot like Willow from Henry Margot, but she's a little bit heavier. And I think the bang area is a little bit different. I feel like Willow, you can almost, it's like a side swoopy kind of bang, sort of. Um, but yeah, let's try her on. Again, the color is 1426R10. And the fibers feel really nice. They, they feel really nice. But th this does feel heavier than Willow, like, overall. If you compare the two. Okay, let me adjust my camera like up a little bit, or if I can, or maybe I'll slide back, because I feel like you can't really see like the whole thing. <laughs> see, I I like Tressler wigs, but I don't know what to do with this bang. Like, I'm just not a bang gal. The lace front's really freaking nice on this one. Real nice. I mean, I'm not sure how to wear this. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, that would be, like, the center part. Like, if you want, you can really part this any way you want. Um, and so you could steam it any way you wanted. You know, if you're a right sider or a left sider. I'm just trying to figure out what side these bangs look good on. This, I feel like they look better going to the right. On me, anyway. Maybe. Like, there's a, a lot of layers up on top here. So you could get some height right here. Like, these bangs are, like, this long right here. You know? Like, if I combed it down. And see, I hate playing with wigs a lot because, like, I really would like to know what it wants to do because I don't like to put, play with the wigs a whole lot. Like, I would never wear them straight down because they're just going to fall on my eyeballs. Completely fall on the eyeballs. Like, that don't look bad right there. And then you've got, like, the part. You can really see the mono part right there. I almost wish this would kind of go this way. Like, I would definitely need to work with this one. I would feel like I would need to steam some of this over this way. Like that. But 
But the lace front's really nice. Let me bring you in closer for that. Let me... I don't know what is up with my camera today. Like, it's just not working with me today. So there's the lace front. It's a really nice lace front. It looks very realistic. I wouldn't even pluck that, to be honest. I, a lot of wigs I would pluck. I wouldn't even pluck it. It looks really good. I, th this is the thing about little short bangs. Is see how they just, like... I don't know. I feel like they're... Whenever I feel like I'm in a short bang, I feel like I look like I have a mullet on. Which I can't stand. Like, see how this piece... And then there's, like, a wave right here. And it, I feel like it's not meshing together. Like, I wish I could get it to mesh. Like, maybe I need to go this way. But see, then these are short right here. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's just a personal style issue, not a wig issue. But I don't, I feel like I'm wearing a mullet. Like, I feel like I have, like, short hair here and, like, long everywhere else. I much prefer Willow over this wig just because of the bangs. Literally just because of the bangs. I don't dislike this wig, I just feel like I'm going to be playing with it forever to get it to do kind of what I want it to do. I feel like this is where, it, this parting area right here is where I'm going to feel the most, like it looks the best on me. Again, this color, not really my color. It's, it's a more, I, I mean, to me this is red. <laughs> It's very strawberry red, you know? Again with the bangs, with the bangs, girl. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It's very like Tawny Katane. Like that's what it reminds me of like Tawny Katane from like the White Snake days, you know? Like I feel like that's about as good as the bangs gonna look on me right there. Um, I have some Shape and Hold hairspray. Like I feel like And this, there's a lot of body and height going on right there, too. So, let me move my camera upwards, maybe. There we go. That's better. Sort of. Very Tawny Katane. You know, see, I... It's like a styling thing for me. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. It's a very nice wig. It's it's a very well made. The front, the hairline on this thing is amazing. The curls, or I wouldn't even call these curls, these waves are amazing. I don't really like the color on me, but I, you know, it's the top, it's the bang situation. Although I think that looks pretty good right where it's at. Like, I gave it quite a bit of oomph right there with my hairspray. Like... I sprayed that sucker into submission right there. But the hairline's great. Do people wear their hair this high anymore? I don't even know. <laughs> Do they? Do they wear their hair this high? Uh, you know, the closer the hair to the sky, the closer to God or whatever they say, right? The bigger the hair, the closer to heaven. Very pretty highlights around the front, too. I really like how they highlighted the front on this. But yeah, I kind of I kind of got a quite a swoop going on right there. I don't know if that's probably the best thing to do, but I feel like that is where this wig needs to be for it to look right on me. But it's really really pretty. Um, let me show you the back if I can get it at all in camera there. So it's pretty long, pretty long girl. Like I said, I'll put the specs up. Again, maybe like right here to show you the length. Um, it goes to about here on me. Very pretty. I mean, I'm kind of getting used to it now. Like, Sorry guys, my camera cut out. I feel like this would be the way the bangs would have to sit on me for it to look right. I might have to play with it a little bit, you know, like to get this top to do what I want. But I don't think it looks bad like that. Like, I think that looks pretty decent right there. You know, maybe might have to put a little bit more over that way I don't know and plus I have these bangs like pretty jacked straight up you know but I think it looks pretty good I don't I, I wouldn't say this is my favorite I like the wig I don't like it on me I've seen other people with this on and they look amazing I just don't like these short 
bang pieces here. I never know what to do with them, and they make me feel like I'm wearing a mullet. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, this doesn't look too bad over here now, but then these, like, short pieces, um, I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it looks okay. I mean, I feel like it looks okay. I feel like it looks good. I just don't know about the color on me. Um, and I'm not sure about the bang situation. Like, there's, I got a lot of flyaway stuff going on right here, as you can see. But the mono top and the, like, the lace front look amazing on this. Like, very realistic. I just don't know if I, it looks right on me. You know? I, I think it looks good. I just don't know if I personally like it on me. Um, I like Willow much more. Like, if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely get Willow. Because I like the way it lays in the front and it's not heat friendly. This is a heat safe wig. So I don't usually have the best of luck with heat safe wigs either. Um, so there's that. But that's again personal, all personal preference, you know, like totally personal preference. Um, what do you guys think? What do you think? Do you like this color on me? I don't, I feel like it make, it brings out like the pink in my skin every time I wear like a golden blonde color. Like, this is very goldeny blonde. Very much a golden blonde or strawberry blonde bordering red for me with uh, some highlights. Some like light, lighter golden blonde highlights. So, it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty. It's beautiful wig. It's a beautiful wig if you don't mind a little bit of bang. If you like a bang, then does it this would be the this would be the wig for you for sure. I'm just not much of a shorter like I like a longer swoopy bang like in Zara how it's like a long swoop. Um, sometimes I just don't know what to do with these. It, it's a matter of just me trying to mess with it. I don't think it looks bad right where it's at right now. Like I like how it looks right here. Like I would leave it probably right like this and spray it there. Maybe like I got a little bit of flyaway going and you know. But the hairline is amazing. Like, it, that looks... I would not even have to um, do anything with that hairline. It looks really good. But anyways, guys, fresh out of the box. This is what it looks like. California... Or, yeah, California Waves by Tressalore. Heat-friendly wig. Um, it, I really like it. It's just, you know, I'm just not used to having, like, a shorter bang up front. So it's kind of weird to me, but... Otherwise, and also I'm not used to having waves. Like normally I wear really straight wigs like Zara or Kaya or Ariana or, you know, wigs like that. So they're like super straight. <laughs> but so I just want to show you this since it was fresh out of the box. I do have a couple wigs coming. Well, not even wigs. I have one topper on the way that I want to show you guys. And then um, I also have another Willow coming, but it was on back order. So it should be shipping any day now, I think, in 10 and 6. Teen, or it's 10613 GR, um, which is more like a Palm Springs blonde. But yeah, so this is California Beach Waves. I do like the waves. Again, I'm not really used to it, but it's very kind of summery and nice. I might just wear this all day and see how she wears. But anyways, I just want to share it with you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Also, I bought this. I, I keep forgetting to say this. I bought this from Beauty Nook. Um, if you don't have the Beauty Nook app, I would highly recommend downloading their app and going on the Facebook group page, which is Beauty Nook Wig Support. Um, they do live sales every Friday night, give you great deals. There's a really good deal this 4th of July. Hopefully um, you took advantage of that. I hope, I don't know when I'll have this video up, but um, it'll run till Sunday. And then they have specials every week, so it's well worth it. And I will leave a, a referral code down below. You, if you've never ordered from them, you can get 35% off your first order, which is a huge savings. Um, you know, if you wear wigs, 35% off is enormous. Plus, they're already low prices. Would be, it would be an amazing deal. So, um, but their their lives are really fun, and you get to see wigs on people. So it's really nice, and they're very good quality wigs. They're not like bad quality wigs. They're top of the line, medical grade. You know, manufacturers like John Renault, Raquel Welch. They're not like play wigs, like something you would order. You know. I've just seen some other wig shows. I'm, I'm just not going to mention names, but other wig shows where, you know, um, they're just not top quality. They say they're high quality, but they're not. They're, they're just not. But Beauty Nook's wigs are top of the line, top quality wigs for great prices, better than anybody else, any other wig retailer, guaranteed. But anyways, guys, I will leave all of that information below, and I hope you are having a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.